Hi and welcome to House Marts. I'm Lou Manfredini. Thanks so much for joining us. Today we're going to spend some time under your home. You know, a place you don't normally see, like the crawl space. Is it dark? Is it buggy? Musty? Does it smell? Well, you know, all that stuff that's down there can permeate up into your living space, which is not a healthy environment for you or your family. But you can solve that problem by encapsulating it. I'm visiting a Permaseal project to get a look at the process. Don DeLiggy is running the job site. So Don, when you say the word encapsulation, definition really is to kind of cover it all up. But what you're doing down here is more than just covering things up, right? Exactly. Take us through the steps of what you guys are doing down in this crawl space. Well, you know, the first thing that we did was remove all the organic material that was in the crawl space. So things like boards, there were some paint cans in there. We got that all out because, again, we're going to be encapsulating. It's going to be nice and flush with the floor. The next step, the customer has a waterproofing issue. So we actually installed a four-inch drain tile around the perimeter of the crawl space. We installed a new sump basin and a new sump pump to get rid of that water issue. Now the drain tile, uh, you typically, this is true for basements too, goes down along the edge of the footing. You actually dig a That's trench correct. Right, to place that down. Yeah, in we there. actually excavate a trench, put in the perforated drain tile, and we pitch it towards the sump basin so okay. that you're relieving all that water pressure that builds up and, okay. and channeling it to the sump pit so that it can be expelled from the home. All right. And then what, what do you do after that? You know, after that, we're going to be in, actually encapsulating the crawl space. So the first step of the encapsulation system is going to be our soil gas dispersal fabric. This is a black fabric that gets laid down across the entire floor of the crawl space. That's going to help move soil gases and moisture to the perimeter to where the drain tile has been installed. So essentially like a heavy duty vapor barrier? Exactly, yes. Okay. You know, it's also going to add a little bit more cushioning and support for the floor so that if you're using it for storage, you know, it's easier on the knees, easier for storing items. Okay. A second type of liner is also installed over the walls and floor. You know, on top of that, we're also going to be putting in our product called Zero Perm Liner, which is a 60 mil thick foil backed. It's, it's essentially a thick vapor barrier as well. Now, the liner, when you go in there, obviously this comes in rolls. Uh, what do you do? You overlap it and, and actually kind of affix them together? Yes, the liner, whenever we have seams and things like that, the seams are actually overlapped. They get caulked, and then they also get sealed using a, a four-inch sealant tape. Okay, so then that creates that bond. And then how do you come up the sides? I mean, you roll up on the sides. How do you affix the liner to the, uh, I mean, in this, since you've got a foundation wall, concrete foundation wall. How, how do you attach that all? And we're going to have the wall liner up against the wall, and that's actually going to drape down slightly under the floor. And then same kind of process, we're going to be having the floor liner drape up over the wall slightly, and that joint will be caulked and sealed with the sealant tape. Right. It sort of reminds me of a pool liner. I mean, it's a more sophisticated than that. It's not just vinyl, but, I mean, that's essentially kind of what it does, seals everything up. I've heard a lot of people describe it as a pool liner, and that's basically what it is. You're, you're sealing out moisture, you're sealing out soil gases, insects, rodents, things like that. A lot of people, they'll look at a crawl space like this full of dirt, and they're like, hey, you know what, I'm going to pour concrete down there, put some plastic, and then I'm going to have a storage area there. It really doesn't do a whole heck of a lot to control moisture Correct. at all, and odor. You know, exactly. Concrete's porous, so it's still going to allow moisture up through the concrete itself. Right. So by encapsulating, you know, our system actually traps moisture out. So that's the biggest difference between this and concrete. If they have vents, you actually seal those up. And the idea is that you almost create this, I mean, impermeable bubble in a way, right? Well, vents allow air to come in. So regardless of what the temperature is outside, in the summertime, it's allowing hot moist air to come into your crawl space, and in the wintertime, you're letting cold air to come in. You know, a lot of the air that you breathe in your home actually derives from the crawl space. It's the natural airflow of the home. Right. So it's coming up from the bottom. So everything that you think is safe in the crawl space, oh, we don't go in there, you know, it's actually coming up into the first level, second level of your home, and it, it can affect the air quality. It's going to look clean. It's going to look usable. Like I said, we recommend that you know people can use this for storage after we're done. Right. It's going to be a friendly environment to work in if you have things that, that go wrong, such as plumbing issues or things that are electrical. Right. You know, it's a lot easier to work in something that's clean and, and bright and, and nice, nice looking. Yeah. And for you kids watching, tell your parents to get the crawl space finished up, and you can use it as a fort. I'll be back with more from this crawl space, but right now, here's a green piece.